Hello everybody and welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Today I have built myself an attack helicopter, or at least I have uh, I have tried to. Um, yeah, turns out KSP isn't really that well suited to uh, designing helicopters, especially of the uh, traditional tail rotor variety. Um, I mean, you can get uh, suitable parts for it now with the Breaking Ground DLC, but yeah, it's still, it's, it's kind of tricky. I did persevere, uh, sort of making refinements as I went along, and I kind of, in the end, got to something that was sort of usable. I mean, it flew all right, you could just about control it, but it, it, it still had its issues. Stability Assist didn't know what the hell was going on. So in the end, I decided, yeah, I think we need to uh, leave this, put this to the side for a second and uh, maybe try a different approach. In the end, I ditched the uh, ditched the tail rotor and went for counter-rotating blades, which works quite a lot better. Uh, stability Assist doesn't have quite so much of a problem, but it's not ideal. I've called this the Hawk Moth. I did want to name it after that giant, white, fluffy species of moth, but I found out that's called a Poodle Moth, and, well, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's get this going and see how it flies. Yeah, as I said, does a lot better. It's uh, armed with a uh, couple of these Hydra rocket pods, uh, six um, uh, six Hellfire missiles, and the little 30 millimeter turret. And I've set up a target over here, and I'm going to take it up for a little bit of a test. Don't go too hard on that. So yeah, flying a lot better. And as I said, stability assist doesn't have quite so much of a problem with it. Let's go for the uh, rocket pods. Now, something I discovered as I was playing about with this is that, because uh, I've done some test runs, the Hydra rocket pods, uh, yeah, infinite ammo actually does, well, the Hydra rocket pods count for infinite ammo, so I can just fire as many of these things as I like if I can get it lined up properly. That would be great. Come on. There we go. And maybe a little bit of the old chain gun turret just to finish it off good stuff uh, there's still a little bit of it uh, remaining over there but I think the best way to use this craft is to just fly around and let guard mode take care of it I've got two um, two of these target structures that I've actually put an AI on and it uh, yeah guard mode will actually try and have a go at them so let's see what happens here if I get close enough I set it up so if I get close enough it should just uh, Start with the chain gun turret. Oh no, it's gone straight for the uh, gone straight for the Hellfire missiles. Still going for the missiles. Come on, you know you want to. Nope. Okay, just have to finish it off myself. I think I need to set these up a bit better, set the weapons up a bit better, but there is another one over here, so if I target that, Ooh. there we go, that's that's the target I was hoping it would use the Hellfire missiles on. Here comes another one, keep them coming, I think this might finish it off, there we go. So yeah, a capable little attack helicopter, but there's um, there's a couple more things I want to try out with this craft. Now there is a bit of a problem trying to set up a scenario with these things, in that the, the AI kind of really doesn't like it. Uh, yeah, standard, um, standard uh, aircraft AI just kind of won't cut it. I mean, first of all, you actually have to take the damn thing off yourself, because the, uh, yeah, the way I've set this up... Uh, the AI particularly doesn't like that. I know the BD Armoury devs are working on different kinds of AI, um, like for, for VTOLs and uh, as such. I'm not sure if they've got one planned for a helicopter. But uh, let's get rid of the vessel mover for a second. Let's see what happens if we do just hand this over to the autopilot. Okay, well, first of all, it's going to try and get up to 500 metres. I probably should have probably should have lowered that a bit. Yeah, and once it does reach altitude, it tends to go a bit nuts like that. It's not really... <laughs> oh, it's not really set up for the AI, bless its little cotton socks. Um, and let's see if we can do something with it nonetheless. 
Okay, simplest scenario possible. Two helicopters facing each other. Let's see if we can take them off, get them up to altitude, and see what the uh, see what the AI can do with them. Let's uh, let's get going with this then. I think we're at something approaching a reasonable altitude here. Let's get this going. Oh, that was quick. Oh, <laughs> and immediately they're both laying into each other. Ion Kerman's craft seems to have uh, got the better hits. Oh, oh, Ghosty Kerman, you are not, <laughs> you are not in good shape. Ah, uh, gets a few, uh, gets a few parting shots away, but uh, nothing else doing really. Yeah. I think that's about all the AI is good for a simple setup like that. Let's um, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see if there's uh, at least some scenario we can uh, set up to test this craft a bit more thoroughly. So this is what I've come up with. I've put the uh, the Hawk Moth on one side of the KSC and over the other side, just on the uh, just hidden behind the VAB at the moment, is one of my, my missile units, which uh, is sort of intermittently working again after difficulties in uh, the recent episodes it's featured in, and uh, one of my goalkeeper units. And I'm just going to sort of use the cover of the buildings of the KSC to take pot shots and sneak up on these units and hopefully, hopefully kill them. Um, I will be using guard mode. And uh, this thing doesn't have any countermeasures on it, so I will be relying solely on my wits and my ability as a pilot. So yeah, I, I think I'm going to die as well. Let's go over there. I want to start by just poking my nose out, uh, just into that gap between the uh, gap between the VAB and the space plane hangar. I don't want to be going too fast because I want to be able to. Oh crap! Have they spotted me yet? Oh, yep. Oh, okay. So one of those is blocked by the um, one of those is blocked by the VAB. But apart from that, yeah, everything seems to have gone fine with that. Can we do the same with the uh, with the SAM unit? Maybe bleed off a little bit of the rotor speed there. Here we go. What's it going to do? Oh, no. I don't think I should get too close to that. Yeah, it's firing missiles. One of those got blocked by the VAB. The other one was a bit too close to the ground, it looks like. Let's just sneak up on it and see what we can do there. Slowly, slowly. I do like do like attack helicopters, just this hovering death platform. Come on, are we gonna see you? Okay, let's Let's just poke our noses out over here and see what happens. Gently does it. Gently does it. Get ready to um, hunker down again. Is that enough? Oh, crap. Is it going to fire a missile at me? Or oh, have we managed to kill it? We just managed to kill it in time. Yeah, that's that's pretty dead. Oh, that legged lack Kerman is not taking any chances. And lays in with the guns just to try and finish it off. That is beautiful. Let's get a bit closer. I fancy having a quick crack at some of these myself. That's the stuff. I 
I just sent sent a part flying there. Not sure what it was. Anyway, yes, that will uh, that will have to be all for today. Um, as per usual, uh, recording time is at a bit of a premium at the moment. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you like this uh, this latest addition to my arsenal. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider uh, giving it a like, uh, leaving a comment, subscribing, maybe getting involved with the Discord, uh, following me on Twitter. If you want to support the channel, there are, of course, links to uh, the PayPal and the Patreon in the description. Um, I'll be back soon with some more BD Armory, but uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.